Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in Paragold, it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit with showers. Today, you can expect thunderstorms with a high of 61 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. Man, it's going to be 61. That's a, that's a nice day for northeast Arkansas in late December. But rain, yeah. Heading to Pocahontas today, and I might go by and get a level two charge just to do it in this car. My new 2015 Chevy Volt. We'll see. Today on our way to Pocahontas, uh, we're gonna talk about regenerative braking and how well it works with the Chevy Volt. With my last electric car, uh, the Chevy Spark EV, the regenerative braking worked really, really well. And as a matter of fact, it works so well, if you had it in L mode, which for electric cars does not mean low, it's extra regenerative mode. If you got it in L mode, the brake lights came on when you let off the gas pedal. I need to find out if that's the case with this car. Because this car also slows down really fast and those brake lights need to come on uh, in the same situation. If not, I may have to start tapping the brakes every time I, I do it. But, Basically what happens with any car, whenever you slow down, the kinetic energy that's pushing the car forward, the kinetic energy from the car moving forward, it's wasted. If you have a gas car, it's just wasted. But with electric cars and even hybrids like the Prius, they recapture that energy and instead of being wasted, they put it back in the battery. And every little bit you can put in a battery helps. And it's a, if you're at the top of a good size hill, say with 25 miles, you can be at 26 or 27 miles at the end of that hill. Maybe even more depend on the size of the hill. You know, and that's one thing about a gas car. You will never have more gas in the tank at the bottom of the hill than you do at the top of the hill. <clears throat> Just one of the advantages of an electric car. So anyway, we're going to Pocahontas today. I'm going to the Sonic, get something to eat over there. It's about, uh, psh I don't know, probably close to 40 miles one way. So anyway, uh, and, and we're gonna take a look at these regenerative brakes. It's called regenerative braking. It's what they call them on EVs and plug-in hybrids and things like that. And if you get good at it and have the right car, you can almost do one pedal driving. The Spark EV, the regenerative braking turned off at three miles an hour. I'm going to test that day too and just see if this thing will slow it all the way down without touching the brakes on level on a level surface. I doubt it will. We'll see. All right, fully charged, 37 miles to go. But of course, I'm going to um, turn the heat on here in just a minute because even though it's 50 some odd degrees, I'm about to freeze to death. Whoo, it's cold. So that takes some energy for sure. So anyway, we don't have enough battery to get there and back, but that's what the Volt is good for. Uh, in my uh, Spark EV I had, I found out you could not go to Pocahontas. I went up doing it once, and I had to hyper mile at 25 and 30 miles an hour most of the way home just to make it. And they have a level 2 charger there, but Chevy likes to put 3.6 kilowatt hour chargers in the car, which is pretty slow, which is what they did with this one as well. Even on level 2, you can expect about 12 miles per hour in summer. All right, here we go, Pocahontas. All right, we're coming upon a four-way stop up here. I'm going 28 miles an hour. I got it in L mode. Now I'm about to take off my, I'm about to lift the accelerator, but I'm not gonna touch the brake. See, going down 24, and I let off way too soon, but I wanted to see if it would completely stop or if it would turn off at three miles an hour. Now I'm not sure this is exactly level either. And it's still moving forward. So I think it's just like the Spark EV. At three miles, four miles an hour, you're just coasting. The um, regenerative braking turns off. Again, one foot. And we just put some energy back in the battery. Just little dribbles. It wasn't a massive amount. It's not like that little thing will take you another mile. <laughs> But every little bit counts, especially when it's just wasted energy. On gas cars, it's just thrown to the wind. It's just gone. So that's, that's pretty cool that uh, electric cars and hybrids, they can uh, capture that energy and do something with it. 
Doing anything with lost energy is great. Here's another um, stop, stoplight. Hopefully it'll stay red. Ah, oh well. I got I got to slow down a little bit anyway. I just let off the accelerator. Look at that. Putting 16 kilowatts, 14 kilowatts back in the battery. See right there. Oh good, we get to stop. Putting eight kilowatts back in the battery. Nine, and I'm gonna have to apply the brakes as I was going too fast. Right as I was leaving Paragould, I put it in hold mode. I explained what that was on the last video. It's where you force the gas to come on, even if you have a full battery. At the time, I had 32 miles left on the battery, and I've gained one. I'm getting back into town, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it. Right there in normal mode, and the battery is about to kick back in. There, the battery just kicked back in. So... <clears throat> We're averaging now 39 miles to the gallon. We've driven 5.2 miles on battery and 20.7 on electric. We've burned two thirds of a gallon. And I'm about to uh, have to slow down up here. So we'll record the uh, regender braking. Right now we're using 14 kilowatts on the battery. When we start regenerative braking, that'll go to a negative. Negative what? I'm not sure. We'll just see. One at Ridge, Arkansas. A place that has some type of Beatles, Beatles celebration every year because the Beatles in the 60s landed their airplane in the airport here in One at Ridge, then got in the car. They walked about 10 feet on One at Ridge soil, got in the car and drove to Missouri for a concert. And because of that, One at Ridge has a, has a celebration every year. They invited Paul McCartney one year and he said, my God, I got better things to do than go to your little 4,890 population town. Leave me alone. Now, he was actually gracious, but of course he turned down the opportunity to come to Little Ron at Warner Ridge and celebrate. All right, here we go. I just tapped the brake. Look at that. Negative 2, negative 12, negative 36. Put a lot of energy back in the battery. Look how fast it's slowing down. <clears throat> That's why electric cars the brake pads last much, much longer than in gas cars because you don't use the brakes that often if you drive it right. Even if you put it in D mode, you know, right there, regular drive, then it still uses regenerative braking, but just not as heavy as L. And on the highway back there, I was going to put it in D because it drives just a little bit smoother when it's in D than it does L, especially at highway speeds. Uh, but it's not a whole lot of difference, but it's definitely smoother. So anytime I'm going highway speeds, I try to remember to put it back in D. Get up here to about uh, 40 miles an hour getting this turn lane. Look at that. This is one reason why electric cars do so well in town. And I had actually hit the brakes because I didn't let the accelerator soon enough. But this is why... One reason electric cars do so well in town because of the regenerative braking. They capture, if you stop and go a lot, that's capturing a lot of energy. I went two or three miles out of the way to see my aunt here in Warner Ridge. Now we're getting back on this short little highway to head to Pocahontas. And we're up to 44.9 miles per gallon. I've used very little battery on this trip so far. We still have 29 miles left. As soon as I get on this ramp, I'm gonna switch it back over to gas. Look at that, regenerative braking, minus 18, minus 30. But we're fixing to switch back over to gas. I'm gonna save that battery for home. And now I've gotten this lane way too soon. I've gotten this lane way too soon. Look at this. <laughs> it's a nasty day. Negative 25 and not touching the brakes. Let's see if I can turn here without touching the brakes at all. Yep. Look at that, slow down for this turn without ever touching my brakes. Again, why the brake pads last so long in electric cars. All right, switch it back over to gas. There you go, see the hold mode? We're now on gas. Pocahontas is right up the road. I'm thinking about, I don't know, 12 miles or so. I'm slowing down to 50 because it's 1036 and I can't be there until 11. 24 minutes, even at 50 miles an hour, 
I think I'm going to get, be there too early. But no need to go on the speed limit 60. I'll just go 50 and people pass and I'll just assume I'm scared to drive in this rain. Jeez, this highway's kind of rough. <laughs> Getting into Pocahontas, I'm putting it back in regular mode. 28 miles to go. The battery just kicked in. 39 and a half miles to the gallon. We're almost to my destination. I'm gonna go ahead and get over in the left hand lane. And I'm gonna have to sit there for a few minutes because I'm a little bit early. We'll see if I have to stop at this red light. Nope, I'm gone. But here we are, we're fixing to see some regenerative braking. Turned off the cruise, and look at that. Negative 31, and I got speed up. Negative 17. There you go. Now to wait. I've got time to wait anyway. Traffic can just keep coming. We're about 34 miles from home, 29 miles to go on the guessometer. meter 42, 40.2 miles per gallon. <clears throat> so the edge of town is right up there. Once we get right up there, I'm gonna turn it on gas mode. And then once we get back to Wonder Ridge, probably put it back on battery and leave it there. Hear how quiet it is? My brother <clears throat> in Illinois, he wants an electric car. And one of the reasons is just because of this, it's so quiet. That's just one of the reasons though. There's a lot of reasons to buy one in my opinion. The reason he's not too interested in a vote is because Pure EVs have less maintenance, and he really likes that too, the fact there's very little maintenance on an electric car. At the top of this hill, I'm gonna put it back in battery mode for the last time probably, and I'm going to uh, get this regenerative braking going by. Okay, how am I gonna say this? I don't want to it to stop too fast. Okay, we're putting it back in regular mode. Right here, this ramp is so long, is what I'm trying to say. They're right there, I just let off. I'm gonna push on the accelerator a little bit. And so I'm still getting negative, even though I'm pushing on the accelerator because I don't want to stop too fast because this is a pretty long thing. And it's very hard to judge and get it perfect. Matter of fact, I was way off, way off. Look how much more I've got to go. Oh boy. Let's try this again. Great song, by the way. Oh, there's all kinds of music. Stuff like this and then next, maybe Highway to Hell. Okay, let's try this again. All right, here we go. Man, this is the longest ramp ever. <laughs> there it is, okay. Negative 33. I'm pushing on the accelerator just a little bit. Try to keep those negatives as long as possible. Negative eight, seven, six. We're getting close to the stop sign though. I have to let off. No brakes at all yet. Not yet. And I have to hit brakes. As we're getting on this final leg to home, I'm guessing we're about 27, 28 miles from home, 38 miles to the gallon, 27 miles to go on the gasometer. But I think we'll probably run out of battery probably one or two miles before the house. By the time we hit Paragold city limits, probably. Don't think I'm gonna make it quite home. My last bar just disappeared. It says one mile. I'm thinking any second it'll switch to gas. And I'm probably a mile and a half to two miles from home. Which is good. I don't. You don't want to get. I don't want to get home with any energy left in the battery. If I did, that means I overused the whole mode. Look at that. Negative ten on regenerative braking. Maybe that'll help move it a few more inches. Fifty-one and a half miles to the gallon so far. Go ahead, Mister. 
the gas engine came on probably half a mile ago or probably 15 seconds after I stopped the last video um, I got 50.8 miles to the gallon and it's probably gonna drop below 50 before I get home the thing is um, I got 32 miles of electric and right now 49.4 in gas I think uh, sloshing through these wet roads especially on on the highway where it seemed like quite a bit of water sometimes I think uh, it took a few miles off my range I'm thinking maybe even 10 or 15 percent all right no battery left 65 miles of fuel left a little less than a quarter of a tank but I did get it it didn't drop below 50 matter of fact it went up a little bit 51.3 miles to the gallon 10.9 kilowatt hours at six and a half cents a kilowatt hour that's about 70 cents and 1.62 gallons of fuel at about 240 a gallon that's about 370 so uh, about four dollars and forty cents to go to Pocahontas and back that seems like a lot of money it was better than most cars 51.3 and again I think I'd have gotten better if I hadn't been for all the rain can't say that for sure but that's what I think Well, the car didn't get as dirty as I thought it would, or at least I'm just not seeing it yet. But anyway, that's regenerative braking in a nutshell. Demonstration of it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And remember, chicks dig scars on electric cars. If they see you plugging your car in, boy, they'll really get turned on. They love that kind of stuff. Have a great day.